Doctors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will. But I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Let go of self-judgment and blame. This is kind of a hard card to get, man. Being impeccable... You take responsibility for your actions, but you do not judge or blame yourself for anything. Yeah, interesting. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 643, NASDAQ off 266, S&P's off 76. Gold, gold contract down $6.40, trading at 1843 an ounce. We have silver up 21 cents. Trade at twenty at, at thirteen cents at twenty one dollars and ninety nine cents. Light sweet crude off eighteen cents, seventy six dollars, sixteen cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten year note down twenty nine ticks. Trading one eleven oh two. The thirty year off a full point plus twenty one ticks at one twenty four oh four. And King dollar, King dollars up three hundred and twelve ticks. Trading at one oh four one seventy five. Euro one oh six. Yen out here at a price point of. 134.92 and the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I'm going to go right into the futures here because if we break this low here and the futures, the, the NASDAQ looks like it's going to break it, you're going to have another ABC down. Um, which will be really wild, man. So there's been no bounces all day long. You know, we started out here at 4,089. You're down 70 points, uh, 76 points from there. Your first bounce, you know, with volume, was down at 230. That, that bar right there, that's got real volume on it. That being said, now watch this. Watch me go to the NQs. It's not the same setup, man. You, you had volume, but there's plenty of volume on the way down also for the NQs. So the NQs are telling me, that they're going to go after their low. Now, if, if the NQs break this low and we have volume behind the move, then you get another ABC structure down, and then you are really going to have some heavy stuff coming at you um, into the close because it's been a day just all down all day long. Gold. Gold contract out there. We take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract traded to uh, 1856. Gave it up on price. You're at 1843. And the real question with gold right now is this going to be another ABC structure down? Because what you're going to have here, let's pull this up. What you're going to see is that we hit. We hit a price point on, on Friday of 1827. You're going to go after the swing point. And if we break it, let me just see what we got here. You got 1902. We're going to get a 75.8 to B. That would get us into uh, 1775. And my take is we'll go to 1795. Where, where I'm going with this, folks, okay, is that it looks to me like in many of the equities here, if I show you some of the equities here, you can kind of see where my head's at here. I suspect what we're doing, we're going right back to November 8th in the goals, folks, okay? Now, that's a normal occurrence in a market that still wants to go higher. 
Because what you're going to see here, look at AEM. I mean, AEM come off its high of 58, you're trading 46, okay? There's November 8th right there. This is out in all these. So AEM is already at November 8th. The top of November 8th, it's at the top, 46.75. The bottom's 42. That's where all the golds took off, off from. We had an extraordinary run up, up going up. We, we actually sold on the way up. Um, and bottom line is that, they, you know, AEM's not coming back right. AEM come out with numbers. That's a high volume low. It's going to get tested. But that's still higher than where I think it's going to go, 42.98. See, that went to 44. So I suspect the good news is it will come back, hit it, get lower, and then basically get into where the straight started from. And that's what all equities love to do. You know, when you're getting big retracements, that, well, it's not when you get big retracements. It's when you get large runs. We had a really large run in all the gold stocks. Now you're pulling back. My take is that this is going to be like a buy extraordinaire. And my take also is that what we're going to see when that buy comes in, because this, this will be the buy on a shorter term basis for the market also, because what we'll see is that that dollar, we get over to the dollar, you're going to see the dollar basically getting up to the 106 to 107 mark. That's the 0.382 retracement, okay, of the move down. And then we're going to go to the T. Y, which is the 10 year, okay? And the 10 year, I'm expecting, yeah, look at this volume today, 253,000 contracts, monster contract volume. And my take is in the 10 year, wants to come right back to where that took off. See that took off, uh, what is that date? That's November 10th. Well, is it? Yeah, it's November 10th. I'm just doing the same thing. Um, at 110.22. You know, we're getting close to it, man, because we're already at 111. And in fact, you know, what's going to be cool here is this. If we, if the bonds break that area, then, you know, bottom line, this bond wants to go a lot further down on the get-go that we're in right now. And that would be saying that the dollar would actually get above the 106, 107. There's plenty of stuff to look at right now. That's the real bottom line to figure out where these bounces can come in. Because the correlation goes... Bond market interest rates sends the dollar higher. Dollar higher sends everything lower. If you just cut to the chase, that's kind of how it shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today that we have, you know, you get uh, Tesla down nine bucks. We got, uh, let's see. Well, let's go into the Dow Industrials first because in inside the Dow, uh, Walmart, Home Depot come out with numbers. They bought Walmart. They sold Home Depot. It's pretty. Home Depot was down. I mean, Walmart was down four bucks. Now it's up forty six cents. But putting juice into the oh, this is even, this is even funny. This is pretty sick. That Walmart's the strongest stock inside the Dow today. That's there's something wrong with that, folks. Home Depot. Home Depot's taking out swing points with volume. That's that's putting one hundred thirty six negative points. Goldman forty nine. Caterpillar forty five. And if we go take a look at Home Depot, what you're going to see, you're breaking all the consolidation. You're breaking it with volume. Bottom line, you can see this, the swing points there. We had swing point of uh, 3.7 million. You blew it away. We already had 7 million. You're going into the strength. The gap on Walmart is uh, 292.50. We're at 297. There's no reason not going to fill it, but it gets heavier than that because if I take the top, the bottom, 307. Stay right here, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 668. Nasdaq's off 279. S&Ps are off 79. The NQs are breaking that low, folks. We'll see whether they get volume. We've got three more minutes in it, but I suspect that uh, this thing's not done uh, going to the downside. Now, now, now let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $1,195, which is the savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil also has approximately 12 great archives out there. You're going to get some great education. Check it out right here, right now. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. So, what do we yeah. got going on here? Well, you know, we've been discussing this for some time. Well, basically, what I've been saying is that, as, as I see it, this, the, going to the Dow, at least for the moment, the Dow, you can see, I'm going to pull this across here. This is the um, daily chart of the Dow with my notations. But essentially, you can see between 34,700 and 32,573, we've been in this range since November. So I always look at this as some some form of distribution. It doesn't tell you how, how seriously down you can go, but it does say there's distribution and there isn't enough momentum to break out to the upside, at the same time, up until now, we've had a lot of uh, evidence to say that this orange line, this 200 period exponential moving average has been good support. And you can see that in the weekly chart right here. You can see I drew in the rectangle weeks and weeks ago. I said, I think we're going to be stuck in this range. And now what we're doing is we're going towards the bottom part of the range. And what I did is during one of my shows, uh, during my Tiger Technicians uh, Hour, 
I, I think it was about three weeks ago, I drew in this blue line to say that's your midpoint of the whole rectangle formation. If we start to go below that, that's that's quite serious. And what we should be looking at is if that, that is taken out, we've got to expect that we're going to test the lower part of the band. And that takes you to uh, about the 32,000. We're at 33,163 right now. That takes you to about 32,700, 32,500. Then if you look at the S&P, uh, there we go. If you look at the S, hmm, why did that not? Print it. Let me do it again. S and P. I'll try it again. There it is. You'll see that we we made a high at 41.95 on the 2nd of uh, February, and we've pulled back, and now we are just underneath the 200 period exponential moving average. What's written? And I drew in the rectangle here a couple of weeks ago to say that's what I'm looking at for the S and P at this particular point because of the first time it broke out of this downtrend. These two downtrend lines. I call them an inside track repellent zone it became a propellant zone and we ran up and we've been four five this is the fifth week so far that we're above the the green line but you're starting to see some weakness so i think if you put it together you'll see that the same thing is happening in the qqq we made a, a higher 313.38 on the second we've pulled back we're now under the 200 period moving average here as well we've gone outside the bands so i think this is a very important consolidation because it was a spectacular run from the low in January to the high in February. So I think this is what we're looking at at this particular point. That's what I, I can call it just a, a very important consolidation after a very big run up. But it's very interesting. I, I think I mentioned this to you last week um, that the DB, the DBA, which is DB Agriculture Fund, which we've been along, you can see this is the monthly chart on the right. The low was in June of 2020 at 13.25. We went long the very next month at about 13 in the 1370s. And we've been long ever since. We've taken a little bit off. We have made a peak here at 23.01. I like to talk about bar symmetry. And you can see in this particular instance, uh, the, the bar that I chose is a very tiny doji candle from uh, 2019. So the 23.38 high that was made way back in uh, 2015, we tumbled all the way down to 1325, and then we came back to that same level at 2301. We just missed making a new uh, recovery high from that level. But now I think it's, it's very important that in this particular market phase, we're looking at a, a, a kind of a diverse set of, you've got the metals in the commodities soft, soft now, that includes crude oil, but you've got the grains, which are doing quite nicely. Not great, but they're doing quite nicely. They've gone off the 19.25 low uh, of uh, January. So it's a very selective market. I do believe that within the context, if you look at the volatility index, I was talking about this last week, that the volatility index, the VIX index is called, had run up to the 200 period moving average back in, I think it was December. Yeah, it was in December. And it stalled right at the 200 period moving <coughs> range and then came down sharply. And I was anticipating that if you look at the month, this, the weekly charts right here, but this monthly chart on the right shows you that there's a very subtle bowl formation. And that bowl formation suggests that at least on a short, I'm not sure I can even say intermediate term, but on a shorter term basis, this we're making a slightly higher uh, low. And that says that we could move up in the uh, once again we're in leg B right at the 200 period moving average in the daily starting to see some movement in the weekly so I'm watching this really closely because if the VIX index holds any rally and starts to make the 2150 area support and moves uh, potentially higher into the 2380 2450 area that's going to continue the sell off in the market so I think this is very important I I don't have evidence right now to say this is it. This is the big one that we're going to go tumbling down, uh, even take out the January low. I just think this is a very important consolidation. That's the way I'm seeing it. So for subscribers to my opening call, we've built up a very nice cash position. We tighten stops on anything that I think is uh, is vulnerable to downside. Um, and I, Basil, I what, what do you what do you think about the that the inflation in general? I mean, as forget the markets for a second, right? But, Just in general. Right? Yeah. So this is very important. It's, you know, in gas prices, when gas prices go up, 
it's like instantaneous even even just an eyebrow lift right says that the prices that you know immediately the pumps the, the prices go up when the prices come down it takes a long time for them to come down so three things are happening here one is you and i spoke about inflation oh a long time ago when the, there wasn't inflation but what we had b both decided on looking at the history that we've gone through in our, our lives that once the inflationary bubble is taken out, the, the genie's out the bottle, it's really tough to put it back quickly. Yes. It takes a long time. That's number one. Number two is there has been, I mean, I, I spoke to you about a moment ago about the, the, the inflation in the commodities, the soft commodities, the grains. But even then, if you look at this, look at the DBA, the DBA is, um, it's off the high, but it is holding, if you look at the weekly chart, you'll see it's in the lower range. And I think that that's important. So what's happening here, that, so the second part of it is that there has been inflation. Fortunately, it's been rotational. And the third thing, and that's what we really have to keep our eye on, bonds, the rates are going higher. And that is in itself an inflationary thing. So I think even right. in, even in inflation, we see rotation. It's very hard to get it back in right. the box. And you know, in that DBA, the DBA is 42% short-term bonds. That's right. It's always yeah. like the dollar, yeah. which is not really the dollar, right? Thanks, Basil. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 647. The Nasdaq's off 278. S&P's down 76. So let's get over to the NQs for a second because you're going to see it, it is they hit this bottom twice and... They don't have the volume yet there, but <laughs> they're trying to, they're going to go after this thing again. So look what they did here. This is so intriguing, man. I love it. So the, the number you have, you have to look at is 
approximately 93,000 contracts in 88, okay? So the first time down, we hit 66. The second time down, we hit 75. So what you do at this particular point is, is and we broke that low. So then when you we're looking for, you're looking for this buy here. And if we're going to go back down into those levels, folks, what's going to happen, you're going to see a, you're going to see a fast contraction of volume on the way up. If that's what you get. Just get ready. You'll go right back downtown again. We go over to the ES. We take a look at the ES. And the same type of setup in the ES. Now, the difference is the ES didn't make it down there. So we're probably going to get a better indication faster from the ES. But what I mean by that is this. The last time that we, the first blurp up, the first blurb up had 30, no, 269,000 no, 269, contracts. Then we topped out with 247,000 contracts, okay? Now, this one bar is going to be important because if it tests it with light of volume, doesn't make it, you're going to be right down the other side. You know, one of the Tigers was saying that the bottom line is that what we haven't had yet is panic selling. And that's a problem, folks, because that's what you need to get bottoms. That, that's, this has been a slow razor all the way down all day long. Um, what panic selling is, is that normally what ends up happening, you'll come down, you'll get a nice little bounce, okay? You come down, you get a nice little bounce, then you come down and it just doesn't stop and the volume blows out. What, is, what has happened all day today, here, check this out, man. This is pretty cool because you'll understand... We've actually been going down all day, you know, with actually light volume. So check this out. Meaning, under 10 minute bar. It, it hasn't been extraordinary. The last time that it was extraordinary is going all the way up here at uh, 10 o'clock this morning. And you can see, as you got, th then we got another bar at uh, 11.30. But the reality is, is that, you know, this has been a chop, 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 down, 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 but would not, a huge amount of volume so let's go inside the ndx 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the ndx you got copots up nine tenths of one percent you got paypal up nine tenths makai libri four tenths taken away from it jd.com's down ten and a half percent pindo is off nine and a half percent lucent's off nine and three quarters of percent and uh what is this global Foundries is off 6.2 percent, you know. So you get some, you get some big numbers here. That's the bottom line. So now let's go here. Let me. I want to see when Lowe's is coming out with numbers because we know that Home Depot just gave it up. That's hitting Lowe's also. So Lowe's is coming out. Oh, not to March first. Look at that. Oh, okay. So the way Lowe's is set up right now, you don't have that much volume. But hey, I suspect you get. Lowe's going to try to get back into this 191 area. Right now, you're at 202. I believe Toll Brothers is going to be coming out with numbers. This is, uh, yeah, this is awesome. This is after the close today. Okay, so check it out. Toll Brothers is down $1.29. You're trading out at 55.91. They are going to be looking to do 1.7 billion and bring $1.38 to the bottom line. If we take a look at this. Okay, so let me put this on a weekly for a second. But right there, right there is. So my take is that when they come out with numbers, the stocks want to go a little lower. That's that's how this is set up right now. Um, and this had a heck of a bounce. I mean, if you look at this bounce, look at this thing, man. It had a point six one eight bounce. So the cool thing is, when you got a 618 bounce going, folks, what's the, you know, the, the bottom line is that the theory is that when you come back down, you don't break the bottom in the first way down. Now, what would be really cool for a buy is that you, you bump, 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 it goes all the way down, you reject that lower price. You can see that it's a high volume low that's laying out there at $40, $40.19, you know, so we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. Um, but I suspect that, you know, the... The interest rate structure is the name of the game, man. The, the, long, the, big, the bigger it goes, number one, and the longer it goes, number two, 
that is where it's going to be a real problem. Let's go to Nike. So one of the Tigers are bringing this up. And, you know, this is so weird, folks, okay? If you've been in the market for a long time, or if you, especially if you can look at um, intraday, you know, we get these ticks that are bad. And for some reason, man, so Nike had a bad tick when I believe that they, they come up with the numbers that day, Dan. Um, so it was, the bottom line is that we went from 128, it was a bad tick at 120. No, it was just a bad tick, okay. And it's like, okay, so you get a bad tick, you know, it really never traded there, but then all of a sudden it trades down to that level. I've seen this so many times, it's insane. And that works on the same way on the way up, which is totally insanity. But guess what? It's going for it right now. That bad tick on the way down is 120.45. We hit 121.05 today. You know, I mean, the big thing with Nike that you don't like to see if you're bullish is the monster gap that it has when it comes out with the numbers. The closer, the closer that the closer that we get to, you know, basically 119. You know, the gap starts at 115. And that's just like a big monster magnet that'll just go right after it. Let's go take a look at the XLF for a few of the tigers out here. So the XLF is the lows 29, the highs 40. This is the banking sector, right? We take a look at this. Okay, so. You're going to break a swing with volume today. Let's put this on a weekly. So this did, let's see what we did. So this also did a 0.618 retracement, man. Uh, that being said, this thing's going back to 32, 33. See, it's a consolidation. Couldn't make the highs. It was going into, uh, what's this? 391 million. It took it out. Look at this. Oh, look, you got to look at this. Okay, here. Let me clean this chart up for you, man, because this is sick. Okay. Okay, so watch this. So here's, here's what it was taking out. It was taking out 56 million and 58 million, rather, and 50, oh, 58 million? Yeah, 58 million. Both those days were 58 million. So watch this. First time we went up there, 51 million. Pretty good, right? Then you get higher with 43. Then you get higher with 33. Then you test it with 33. And then we're coming down today with 25. And you got to remember, if you go back to the deal, you, you're dealing, it's, it's a failure on price and volume. You got a failure in price and volume, can't bust them up. What are you going to do? You're going to bust them down. So banks also are going south, folks. That's the bottom line. Listen, when things go south, everything seems to go south. That's just that's just how markets work. Dow, Dow Industrials down 644, Nasdaq's off 277, S&P's off 77. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow is down 651. Now is XF 282. S&Ps are off 78. And the NQs just broke on volume, folks. Okay, so check it out. This is gets, when you see the expansion of volume, check this out, man. This, is, this wasn't easy to do. You're talking about 91,000 contracts. So we were dealing with 88,000 contracts there, uh, 93,000, no, 93,000 there. Well, we just got 91,000. And now you're dealing with the next bar. Up. And so we, we got below it at 91,000. That's saying, hey, man, you're going south. You can, you can fight it as much as it wants. But the bottom line, you have a monster seller out there. That's how uh, this uh, baby shakes out. We got to take a look at some of, let's go take a look at, uh, we got Google, Amazon. Let's see what all these big dudes are doing out here. So Google breaking lower, down 220, not, no big deal. So I break the swing point. I suspect Google's, Google's going to try to make its way down to this $83 level. Right now you're at 92. We go to Amazon. We take a look at Amazon. Not much movement. Now, this is important to keep your eye on this, man. Because I like how Amazon, see, Amazon had that nice big volume spike, you know, about two weeks ago. And you can see there's not a lot of sellers in Amazon right now. So when you get something like that, if we continue going lower, if the market continues going lower, and then you see a couple of these big dogs, as they're backing off, that volume starts dramatically contracting and you don't get a lot of price movement. Bottom line, those will be the first ones that will take off on any type of bounce, folks. And you gotta remember, Amazon in 2007, okay, Amazon was the first equity to take off, and it took off two and a half months before the market. So, you know, Amazon's always really hard to buy, uh, but keep that in mind um, the way this is trading out right now. If we go over to, and we take a look at the 10 year, you're gonna see the 10 year is 3.949. And if we go back six months, let's just do, I think it's 4.5, 4, yeah, it's gonna, so six, the last three months, this is the highest the yield has been in the last three months. Six months, it's 4.25, 4.24, and I believe that's gonna be for the year also. It is. You know, listen, man, I mean, the way inflation's going, you know, as, inflation just doesn't stop. That's the problem, folks, okay? You know, you, you just can't, you know, wave a wand and say, okay, all the price is going to get down now. It's not how it works, man. It's, once it's built into the system, you know, it's a, it's a whole different ballgame. That's what it comes down to. Um, and that's really important 
to un understand in the, in the context of, you know, where we are in the market. Where we, where we are, just not in the marketplace, folks, in everything. You know, because it affects every, it affects you, our pocketbooks every single day. And that's, that's how this baby shakes out. We're going to take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at the GDX. So there's a couple gold equities that are going to come out with numbers tomorrow that is going to affect the GDX. And what's going to, I suspect, number one, you're going to go after this swing low. So the swing low right now, it's a high volume swing low from Friday, 27.78. Now, we're going to see if this is an ABC down, it's going to be really cool watching it because, you know, the, the A point on this is 31. The B point is down here at the 27.70. So it's, it's a small one. It's only $2.25. That would get you into the uh, basically the $26 area. And this is where that whole November 8th bar comes up because the top of November 8th is 26.94. The bottom of it is, is 25.04. And that's, that's my, my take is we're going to 25.04. We come down to this level, that's where gold took off. Like, a, Let me pull this back more, you'll see. We had a huge consolidation going on, frustrating everyone. That's where it took off from the consolidation. You can see this thing, see that? Yeah, let's see, let's go like this. You'll see how this consolidation shook out, man. This was the consolidation. The consolidation started in August, went all the way over to November, took off. Gets up to a point six one eight <laughs> of the last move down, which is really great. So watch how this goes. You get a point six one eight. Okay, that's a strong market. Goes up, pulls back. If we pull back into that area, and let's go see what this area is. That would be. Oh, that's even crazier. At that, it would be just about a point six one eight on the way down too, and so. Then what that would do, if that's, what we, if that's what we get, then what that does is put it in a much larger consolidation, like this big, okay? So well, this is going to get, the, the, it's a, hey, the bottom line, folks, is a great trading market. That's, this has been one of the best trading markets I've seen in years, in years. There's no, it, this is the same type of market. It's not as vicious as from 2007 to about 2010 and 11. And if we get this for two or three years, everyone should be very happy. I can tell you that. If you're trading. If you're investing, it's a bummer. That's, that's the bottom line. You have to wait longer, you know, to have inflation catch up with numbers in general. Because in, in numbers in general, that, you know, they're going to be higher numbers in the future because inflation just makes higher numbers in the future. That's, that's how it comes down. That's, that's, that's how it works. Let's go over to the XLE and see what the energy markets are doing out here. So... I take a look at the XLE. That's trading flat. We're at eighty-four dollars and twenty twenty-nine cents right now. Now this is going to get dangerous. So if you're in these, you know, get prepared, man. You know what we have out here is this. You came down Friday. You broke a swing. The swing had eighteen point uh, fifteen million. You broke the swing with twenty-two. Now you're coming into the bottom of the consolidation. If you break the bottom of the consolidation, it's a problem because what you're going to get is you're going to get the aspect of, you know, the top of this consolidation is like 92. The bottom is 82. So you break it with volume, you're going to go to 72. That's how things, these things work. And 72, the, lot, the bigger consolidation on the bottom is 68. We go take a look at Chevron, Exxon, these are the two biggest dogs in it. You can see Exxon came, at, well, Exxon failed with price and volume at 114. Had volume on Friday. We'll see where that shakes out. CVX. That's already broken. That's interesting. Yeah. So CVX is actually the one that's bringing this lower. And in fact, that's 10, 6, yeah, CVX. CVX is already on the way down to the lower end of the consolidation. That failed at the highs also. So, you know, this CVX can run down to 132, and right now you're at 161. So you're talking about some heavy numbers out here, man. And the oil contract itself, let's go look at the oil contract.
You're flat today, 76, but this is going down to the bottom of the consolidation also. I see, we're just rolling too. This is a new contract, but at this point, you know, we'll see where it shakes out. I suspect 72 bucks is on the way once again inside of uh, the oil complex. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrial is down 656. NASDAQ off 281. S&P's off 78. Come right back. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 667. NASDAQ's off 283. S&P's off 79. And the uh, bottom line is that uh, no matter what we look at, yeah, you're going to be closing at the lows of the day, folks. So uh, overnight here, it's going to have to do with that good old, you, you can see this. This is, you know, you broke the uptrend, man. I mean, you know, looking at, looking at the futures, the, the S&P futures, I mean, the, the next stop is 37.89. Right now, you're at uh, 4,000. Uh, NQs, we take a look at the NQs. Okay, so you know, 287. Let's just see this. See there? 
Yeah, you're in it. Okay, so the NQs, what had happened, last week we had got inside the lower range in the S&Ps, folks. This week, you just got inside the lower range in the NQs, and guess what, man? That means you're going all the way to the bottom again. This is going to be pretty cool, man. I mean, it is what it is, but this opens up 10,758, and you're at 12,102. That's how, your yeah, false break top side, couldn't handle it. This got back inside the lower range pretty quick for the NQs, folks, because we were way above that range. I mean, that thing, you know, took off, took off the consolidation, got above it, and what, the, see, what happens is this. The longer that you're actually above it, when you get a failure, the worse it is on the way down because so many folks have bought above it because it looked clear. I mean, that, that's, I, I pitched, I, I know the other side of this trade, meaning that, hey, you're above that for a while, look clear, but guess what? It's not clear. You have to go with the larger ABC structure now because that's where we're going. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Hey, don't forget, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. Our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento, he just put up. He's going to be trading live. It's going to be on March 8th, 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Check it out. We just put it up uh, this morning. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks.